Mmm, my first ever portable game console, the Game Boy. Yes, that original big fat gray brick that didn't really fit in your pockets unless you were rocking the Jinko jeans. Mm, no, I just wore the large zip-off cargo pants. So they, <laughs> I was very stylish with my uh, Game Boy that fit in my pants. Oh, I loved it with its pea green screen and just hours of portable gameplay happened on this thing. I'm talking Belmont's Revenge, Kirby's Pinball and Donkey Kong 94, just to name a few until I accidentally broke the screen with my forehead in a, a fit of gamer rage. Oops, but lately I've been super busy creating the ultimate Game Boy, unparalleled interactivity. I'm talking non-machine learning and growth. Though it does have an unusual sort of uh, uh, a poopy scent to it. And when it's running really low on power, oh man, you better believe this thing can get loud. But it's all mine. The ultimate Game Boy. But this one doesn't stay portable forever. <laughs> Oh, a little cutie. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, it's true. I made a Game Boy. Uh, my son, that is. Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah, I I'm definitely going to make him a Game Boy. I'm gonna be like that overbearing sort of gymnast dad in those Lifetime movies. It's like, no, son. This is the Super Nintendo. This is the original PlayStation. It's gonna be your favorite thing, right? Right? <laughs> I don't think he agrees. <laughs> That's okay, you'll learn to love it. Yeah, so this is where I've been for pretty much all of January, just getting this little fella ready to be digitally distracted. And he may look cute right now, but let me tell you, this boy can poop. <laughs> Serious poops. Serious toots, huh? Hmm, you stinky? He gets that from his papa. <laughs> oh, oh, what's, you've had enough? Have you had enough? All right. Well, I'm gonna go lay him down real quick. Come on, I'll be right back. Ooh, oh man. Oh, I think he just pooped. <laughs> gonna need to take care of that. So yes, it's very exciting and nerve-wracking, the prospect of being a father for the very first time. What? Game Dave is now Game Dad. Game Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's here. But there really is a lot to think about when it comes to raising a son uh, when you're really into gaming. I mean, when you have a really passionate hobby and you want to share that with your son or your daughter. And he, it's going to get forced on him. But that's, it's this weird thing of, I have the basement, the Game Dave lair. I'm sort of trying to decide, like, what age do I reveal the basement to him? Do I wait until he's a couple years old and it's like, alright buddy, I think you're ready. I think you're ready to come down to the shrine of gaming. I, I don't know, but it's something I just I just hope. I hope that it's something he wants to take part in and sort of just share it with Game Dad. That would be pretty cool, but I'm not going to force it on him. But I mean, who's who doesn't like games, right? I think what would be the most fun thing to do is uh, put him on the same track I was on. I'm, boy, you're not starting with the PS5 or the PS6. No, 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 no. Start you off with the Game Boy, the original Game Boy. He, I mean, he's not gonna know any better. I'll have to tell his cousins not to share their games with him and not tell him. Keep it a secret. Let him see the true history of gaming. Start old school. Uh, though then when he goes to actual school and he's like, Hey, guys, do you have a Nintendo at home? My dad lets me play his Nintendo. And then they're like, what, what is a Nintendo? You mean the Switch? You mean the Switch 2? The Switch 3? Wherever we're at at that point? Who knows? But I'm curious what your thoughts are. It's an interesting sort of situation. So if you have kids or you're thinking about having kids, maybe you don't want kids, but leave your thoughts. I want to know, how would you handle it? How would you, would you sort of trickle out the gaming interests? Would you start them with the, the newest game systems? I don't know. I mean, I don't want him to feel bad when he's hanging out with his friends with his old stuff, but it'd be cool if he had an appreciation for where video games started, you know? All right, well, enough about my wonderfully cute baby boy. I want to talk about the channel real quick. Of course, I have a lot of things to juggle now. I've got to juggle the channel. I've got to juggle my full-time job. And of course, my family. 
it's uh, it's growing. How crazy. It doesn't even feel real. As of the filming of this, it's only been three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> oh man, he's so little. I've got I've got a I've got to help develop this young man. Now I do have another digitally distracted episode that's going to be coming out soon, and after that I, I want to get back into talking about virtual reality because while I've been away from the series on virtual reality, I've been playing many, many VR games, including Beat Saber, of course! Beat Saber came out on PSVR and I've been going nuts for Beat Saber, hoping for some more music packs, and uh, there's so many other uh, download only, at least currently, VR games that I want to talk about on the channel. I also, of course, the mainstay, the Fami Corner. I'll be getting back into Fami Corner shortly. So just bear with me as I learn the ropes of this new world that I have uh, stepped into. And just know I'm not going anywhere. I just have some things that I've got to get organized and scheduled. And uh, videos will be coming back to the channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thanks for all your support. And remember, as always, stay digitally distracted. All right? Hey, son, you want to play some Back to the Future on NES? <laughs>